Next we have uh, Weldon Jackson. Wendell. Wendell Jackson. He's a poet. He's a spoken word artist, dramatist. Mr. Jackson recently portrayed Paul Robeson, the legendary civil rights activist, actor, and singer. He was accompanied by his brother, who was the singer and musician. Thank you. Actually, I didn't portray him. What I did was I narrated the program, and my brother sang. My brother had a fabulous voice. I have a background in, I'm considered an actor by some of really an oral interpreter. I've had to lift uh, words off the page and make them come alive. I, I don't know if you read my bio, but I'm a, I'm, I'm a PK, and that means all of my work is basically affected by that. And also, I was raised in the project, and uh, my work is affected by that. I have, my parents didn't allow us, didn't allow us to have uh, blues and jazz in the home, but I did in the community. So I can sing a lot of basic blues pieces and jazz pieces, and, and then classical music is in my head because my sister played with some classical pianists. So I have all that. But, um, I think, did you tell them what PK is? A, a, a parent's, I mean, a, a, a preacher's kid. <laughs> my father was a pastor. I'm from a family of 12 children, by the way. And uh, my parents did emphasize education. Of 11 living children can have college degrees. But I'm my, my, my parents' dumbest kid. And if it hadn't been for, for a social promotion, I would still be in the eighth grade. Mm -hmm. But I finally caught a hold of something and, and uh, it helped me. Uh, one was when I got to high school, my, my, my mother made sure that we got into the best high school and got me in there without even having to take the test. She got me in there politically. And I had to struggle. The thing that helped me was that I made the varsity basketball team my size and so that helped me too. But I'm in, I'm in a club, uh, uh, Ms. Bell um, uh, asked me to, to speak about my uh, one poem in particular. Again, I'm not a wordsmith kind of poet. I, 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 my, poet my poetry comes from inspiration <laughs> and I came late to it. I was a friend of mine, I worked with DCFS for 20, 25 years as an investigator, I investigated the alleged abuse and neglect. And so one of, the, one of the workers that was getting married, and she asked me to, and she knew that I recited, to write, a, a, to recite some poems for her wedding. She, she went to Trinity. Trinity is an Afrocentric uh, 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 church. And um, so, I was, so she gave me about two months. That time. One month passed, another month passed, and two weeks came up, and I didn't have anything yet. So I said, um, I'm going to write a poem. And then I, I'm going to go to the, I went to the Bible, went to where uh, uh, God took the rib, rib from Adam and brought it back as his wife. And I read that part, and I wrote a poem. But here's the thing that's so fabulous. This is my first real uh, attempt to write a poem. I was writing this poem, and the words <laughs> fell down on the page. I never experienced it. It fell down. It just came on a rich, they were deep. I said, boy, this is something. And that was my first real experience with poetry. And I still don't know where it comes from, but it comes from somewhere. You know, and it comes, I just, I start writing and it will come there. But I don't write very often. I haven't written with about 12 poems. Most of, most, the most that I do is interpret other people's words. Here's a poem I wrote. I, I'm, in a, I'm in a club called the Slow Breakers. We used to be fast breakers. Everybody in that, everybody in that, in that, play, in that, in that we read every Tuesday, uh, to tell lies and break spirits and such as that. And everybody in that club has been at some time in his, in his either he was sandlot, high school, college, or pro athlete. And we, and uh, so I was in there one day and I said, I'm not, I think I'll write a poem. I'll write a slow break. I wish he had some, some, something to play on. It actually has music uh, for it, too. My brother, who's a musician, he put music behind it. Here's the poem. Breaking fast and throwing down, we did some years ago. But life has changed, and we are old, and now we're breaking slow. Now we reminisce, recall, muse, and delight on times when we were young and strong. 
mature and full of life. We steal and face and break black street. We pass for 50 yards. We stick and move. And on the map, we pin a shunt for God got the news. Our fast breaking teams were a sight to behold. But now we are breaking slow because we are old. Now we sit and think and talk of the games we lost and won and what we did or could have done. Some great success, some win, some loss, all part of the game. And if those times had passed us by, our life would not be the same. Now, for those who pass our way, we must tell of the world, the road we came, and that winning and losing are of concern. But note how one must play the game. For there are in the stands of life those who watched your game and see in you and how you play. They will never do the same. They saw you not give up or in, though all seemed lost for you. But you stood strong and in the end showed pride when you were through. Slow breaker, old school, still moving, still kicking. But not high, old school, still moving, still kicking, reminiscing. When we were young, we never knew <coughs> to what we would come. Slow breaking, reminiscing, still kicking, but not high. My slow breaker DC. This is one my pastor got married. This is, that was quite an event. And his wife asked me to write, to recite a poem. Because I had written that other poem for that other wedding, I said, I'm going to write a poem for this wedding. He is from Virginia, and she's from Chicago. And here's, here's the poem. My favorite line that I've ever written is in this poem, too. I'll, I'll read it. After I read the poem, I'll go over it. God's will be done. Heavenly Father, we do submit to your blessed will that thy ordinance be fulfilled as your servant takes a wife. Our Lord who spoke and the world was made hath brought together this man and maid who were as far apart as the north is from the south, as is Chicago's shores from Virginia's bays, which stand to be joined man and wife this day. This preacher man, our pastor here, brought to her from afar to have her given heart and self to him by God as mate to help the work be done. Now join the two to serve this present day, my grace as one. And we do here in sight of God all gathered in this place, for where two or more are gathered in his name, he shall preside. And in his love, their love, we pray, shall rest, rule, and abide. As was the rib of Adam, taken from his side, and wrote again his bone and flesh and bride. We pray, our couple here, so clean and be as one, that all the earth and heaven know God's will once more be done. Here's the cute part. They started to clap and stop. I said, let the church say amen. And the whole church said amen. But, but my favorite line of his, and I got this line from reading, doing the first poem, in which I went to the Bible and got the, the rib and brought it back, as follows the rib of Adam, taken from his side, and brought again his bone and flesh and bride. We pray, our couple here, so clean and be as one. So, so that's, that's that poem. I, want, I also have been to writing letters. And I got, I started writing letters, you know, how, you see how your, your, what you do affects you. Working with DCFS, I had to write every day. If I went out to interview clients, I had to come back and write, uh, write uh, all those cases up. And then I had, if I took kids, I had to write up a petition. I had to write it so that the state's attorney and the judge would understand it. And I wasn't really, it really informed my writing. I can write, I learned how to write a 
paragraph. And I wrote a, I wrote a, well, here's something I wrote real quickly. A friend of mine came, came to work with the press one day. I wrote this poem about three minutes. At times we think the worst has come for worse, but maybe not. At times we think the wrong does done us can never be forgotten. But we may see in years to come that worse than wrong we knew did no hurt to us at all, but was the food by which we grew. But I want I want I, I, I want to read two other things. And, uh, and then here's something I wrote, which is for a girl. Okay, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna find one other short piece to get me started. graduated from, from medical school, I, I wrote her a poem. And, um, and her, her uh, she, 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 I, well, not in medical school, I wrote her a poem, but I, but I wrote one when she, when she finished her residency in obstetrics school at the Naval College of Post. Dr. Coates has arrived, as expected she would, and that doesn't bode well for mankind. For, for minds will be changed and bodies will heal. God works through her soul, hands, and mind. And God does commission from obstetricians, just as he did preachers like Paul. And we've seen her growth from youth to the present. And it's clear Dr. Coates has been called. Called out from among them to bring forth new life and to care for the hurt and disease. And God will be there to aid and assist because she's working for him. And he's Jackson Opoku is currently working on a young 